friends welcome to quick dentistry solution for your dental subjects from first to final year subscribe the channel to learn your subjects fast and don't forget to press the bell icon for new videos so hello everyone today we're going to take a topic of public health industry as you can read on your screens it's oral health education if you have any queries please write in the comments So the contents for today are introduction, definitions, objectives, approaches, models, principle, contents of health education, stages in the adoption of new ideas and practices, and differences between health education and propaganda. So if you read Sobin Peter, you will see that there are three definitions in the book, but here they're only going to review two of them. So the first definition is as follows. Health education comprises of consciously constructed opportunities for learning involving some form of communication designed to improve health literacy, including improving knowledge and developing life skills, which are conducive to individual and community health. Given by the WHO Health Promotion Glossary 1998. Conducive comatla to produce hota hai, like you know to bring about results what does it do it brings about individual and community health so according to me this definition is comparatively harder to remember than the next definition but if you still want to remember this one give me the who i've written it like this so that you can separate it into parts and remember Ki, what does it do and how does that right what does it comprise of opportunities for learning how communication through some form of communication what does it do improve health literacy including improving knowledge and developing life skills to bring about what individual and community health so if you can remember it in this way you know on asking questions you'll easily be able to remember all the parts of the definition So in this definition, given in the National Conference on Preventive Medicine in USA, health education is a process. So we need to remember this, okay? It's a process. What does it do? It informs, motivates, and helps people to adopt and maintain healthy practices and lifestyles. It also advocates environmental changes as needed to first state this goal and conducts professional training and research to the same end. So this is how we're going to break it down. Health education is a process. Okay. So we're going to remember the key words here. Health education, process. What does it do? It informs, motivates and helps people. To do what? To adopt and maintain healthy practices and lifestyles. Advocates environmental changes as needed to facilitate this goal and conducts professional training and research to the same end. You need to understand the last part, right? Advocate environmental changes as needed to facilitate this goal and conduct professional training and research. How will it bring health education, right? How will it bring the learning? How will it bring the facts to the people? You'll have to conduct training and research for the same thing, for the learning, for the health education. So there are three objectives, informing people, motivating people and guiding them into action. Informing people falls under the cognitive objective, motivating people under the affective objective and guiding into action is the behavioral part. First, informing people. Which falls under cognitive objective. Informing people about the different diseases, the etiology, and how to prevent them. Kaun -kaun se diseases hote hain, wo kaise hote hain? Causation and kaise un unse bachna hai. Information increases knowledge and people become aware of their health problems. 
and therefore prevent diseases and promoting health. Khud ka bhi and community ka bhi. We have written the definition. Individual and community health. Next, motivating people effective objective. It is concerned with clarifying, forming or changing attitudes, beliefs or opinions. You probably must have read in the previous chapters about taboos or like superstitions. Things which people believe. Kehi suni baate. And forming right forming the attitudes beliefs or opinions kya hota hai kaise hota hai jinko us disease ke bare mein malum hai lekin kuch aur believe karte hain ki the process of how it's caused wo kuch aur unhe malum hai to use change karna right and clarifying doubts so it's concerned with forming changing and clarifying par isme motivation ki kafi zarurat hai in the first part we have already informed people how the disease how it is caused and how to prevent them but abhi therefore isko ingrain karne ke liye unke lifestyle mein motivation is required because koi bas sunne se ek do baar kare wo cheez ek do baar practice kare but to for them to use it in the daily life motivation is required taki sustainable rahe throughout their life and the last part motivation is defined as a combination of forces which initiate direct and sustained behaviors which initiate form karna behavior direct key skills the actions uh, like uh, in dentistry uh, the the type of sugar intake uh, the amount the the form of the sugar frequent snacking nahi karni hai and sustain these behaviors for lifetime and not just for themselves but also for their community as a whole so third part may guiding into action behavioral objective it is concerned with development of skills and action and professional help and guidance is required to bring these changes and to sustain these altered lifestyles pehle wale mein informing people mein gave them the knowledge ठीक है कौन से डिजीजेज हैं कैसे होते हैं द कॉजेशन सेकेंड में वी मोटिवेटेड देम टू ब्रिंग अबाउट चेंजेस इन द लाइफ थर्ड में वे टेलिंग द हाउ टू राइट हाउ टू परफॉर्म लाइक अ स्पेसिफिक रोल हाउ टू लाइक एग्जाम्पल ब्रशिंग कैसे करनी होती है ब्रशिंग टेक्निक्स क्रॉसिंग टेक्निक्स हाउ टू टेक केयर द इन्फ्लुंस ओरल कैविटी हाउ टू टेक यू नो केयर ऑफ द चिल्ड्रंस रेगुलर ब्रशिंग तो so, इसमें सिर्फ जैसे ब्रशिंग में ही सिर्फ टेक्निक दिखा देना इज नॉट इनफ वी टू शो देम एंड लाइक गिव द रीजनिंग बिहाइंड ऑल ऑफ इट कि क्यों ऐसे नहीं करना होता ऐसे करना होता है वाई दिस इज मोर इफेक्टिव वाई दिस इज मोर प्रॉपर एंड उन्हें करवा के भी दिखाना है राइट right? अगर पैसिव लर्निंग होगी सिर्फ दिखा दिया हमने बता दिया हमने तो दैट्स नॉट इनफ एक्टिव लर्निंग में जब वेन दे परफॉर्म इट राइट तो उनसे उनका स्किल डेवलप होगा और वो उनका जिंदगी का पार्ट बनेगा एंड फिर वो अपने लाइफस्टाइल में इनकलकेट कर पाएंगे उस न्यू uh, स्किल को पैसिव लर्निंग से वो काफी बार वो स्किल इनकलेट नहीं होगी सो दैट विल मेक द होल प्रोग्राम इन इफेक्टिव एंड लास्ट लाइन जैसे लिखा है Final goal of any health education program is to make realistic improvements in base quality of life. अगर प्रोग्राम से किसी के लाइफ में कोई चेंजेस नहीं आता है इन द लाइफ ऑफ द कम्युनिटी द पीपल देयर देन इट्स बेसिकली इन इफेक्टिव सो पैसिव लर्निंग इज यूजली अ नो एक्टिव लर्निंग दैट इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू अचीव सो अप्रोचेस दे आर फोर रेगुलेटरी और लीगल administrative service educational and primary health care so third part legal or regulatory the government makes laws and regulations in order to safeguard the health of its people example epidemic disease act pollution act environmental act food alteration act we have already seen covid lockdowns right and now vaccination drives so 
these are implemented by the government to safeguard our health. Same with Pollution Act in Delhi to improve the air quality. We have the odd even scheme, registration number of the car, and whatever odd days are, so you can drive it except for Sundays. Right? So, we see the drawbacks applicable only at certain times or in limited situations. Definitely, epidemic disease is the same as epidemic. Right? Pollution Act, now pollution increased. May not alter the behavior of the individual. Administrative service approach intends to provide all the health facilities to the people with the hope that they will use it. Drawbacks failure of service is not based on felt needs of the people. And you can see the example. Asia has a dental program open, but now if there is a need for another health issue. So uh, we won't be that effective. But normally, providing the health facilities to people, uh, service, apna, uh, provide karte hain, hoping the people will use it. Third, education approach. Most effective for changes in health practices and lifestyles. Learning new facts and learning wrong information. Sufficient time to be allowed for the behavioral changes. Up in objective, my reach, right? Guiding into action, which was a behavioral objective. And we needed time to inculcate those changes into the community lifestyle. So, similarly, educational approach, right? We provide them with the information, show them how, and motivate them. So here as well, the components are motivation, communication, and decision making. Communication, upon uh, next part we will this chapter. Ke. Uh, we will see the different forms of communication, different modes. And always remember, for behavioral change, ke liye, it always needs time. And uh, second part, learning new facts and unlearning wrong information. We also saw this in the forming, clarifying, or changing attitudes, values, opinions, right? We need to unlearn wrong information and relearn the correct facts. The drawbacks are is results may be slow but permanent and enduring. That is already discussed, right? Sufficient time is needed for the behavioral changes. Primary healthcare approach involves full participation and active involvement of the people from the planning stage till the delivery of the health services. It is based on principles of PHC, that is community participation. Other principles of the PHC are equitable distribution, intersectoral coordination, and appropriate technology. You can uh, read more about it in public health in the first chapter in so in beta. Now this is achieved providing the necessary guidance to help people identify their health problems and to find solutions to these problems. So definitely community participation is a must. Also primary health care is also the first level of contact of individuals with the national health system. Coming to models of health education, there are three medical, motivational and social intervention. Medical may it provides information motivational how to use this data information and social intervention community efforts when the community comes together and then intervenes with the whole uh, process which will be unhealthy process hai, to say intervene karke changes lana. again community participation is maybe like that now the first medical model it is concerned with the recognition and treatment of disease and technological advances to facilitate this process. Health information is provided, hoping that people will use it to improve the health. Now the drawback of this was, since no importance was given to the social, cultural and psychological factors, it did not bridge the gap between knowledge and behavior. As we have already seen, uh, in the objectives, behavioral objective, you know, constant professional help and guidance is required, active learning, to bring about the changes and to sustain those changes throughout your life. That is the thing. 
सिर्फ uh, मेडिसिन से ट्रीट करना इज नॉट इनफ यू नीड टू ट्रीट द पेशेंट साइकोलॉजिकली इज वेल क्यों चेंजेस करने हैं हैबिट्स क्यों चेंज करना है और जिंदगी भर चेंज करनी चेंज मेंटेन रहना चाहिए एंड ऑफ कोर्स सपोर्टिंग देम वाइल थ्रू इट सेकंड मॉडल मोटिवेशनल मॉडल सिंस पीपल डिड नॉट यूज द इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइड टू देम इन द मेडिकल मॉडल मोटिवेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ट्रांसलेट इट इनटू एक्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस इन द सेकंड ऑब्जेक्टिव अफेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव where we form change and clarified people's doubts their opinions beliefs and motivated them to change their lifestyles if we uh, just by passive learning say they'll just do it once or twice it won't be a part of their daily life and to sustain those behavior we need to motivate them the third part social intervention model It is necessary to focus not only on the individual but also on his social environment, which shapes his behavior and the behavior of the community. Take for example tobacco counseling. If this person who uses tobacco and the friends and his friends also use tobacco, so when we make him change his behavior, alter his habits, and his friends do not, then maybe one day you know he'll fall back into the pattern he'll probably start using uh, the tobacco again after some time so that is why we need to change the behavior of the community as a whole and likewise like uh, if there's a family you know and the parents just brush once in a day the children will follow the same they also just brush once a day and and just you know like in contrast like uh, when there's a person who is very uh appreciative of his uh, health and his he takes care of it he exercises and everything the people around him also are affected by it they also start looking towards their health start uh start making changes in their diets in their lifestyle being influenced by the person who is fit who is around them right so it works both ways like if there is good the good will also spread if there is bad the bad will also spread that is why as a community we should try to improve their lifestyle an effective health education model should be based on precise knowledge of human ecology and the understanding of the interaction between the cultural biological physical and social environment factors now human ecology is an interdisciplinary study of the relationship between humans and their natural social environments so it's the same right social intervention so we are taking in account the person the people around him his own his own physical conditions the culture he is in and together accounting for all these factors the health education model should be based we will start with the principles and the rest of the chapter in the next session and if you have any queries please write in the comments thank you